everyone, I'm Steph with Steph's Door Decor, and today we are constructing this huge 4th of July wreath. And I'm so excited about this because it's got layers and layers of deco mesh and ribbon and this really cute USA sign. So uh, we're gonna construct that, and I'm gonna show you how to do that from start to finish, so you'll wanna stay tuned. Uh, for the complete project and stay tuned to the end because I'm going to show you how I secure this sign right in the middle so it doesn't go anywhere and um, I hope that you enjoy this video if you do give it a thumbs up I'd really appreciate it and subscribe to my channel I do upload one to two videos every week on how to construct your own deco mesh and floral wreaths Let's get started on this 4th of July wreath. We're going to use this really cute sign and I'm starting off with this pencil wreath form and some navy blue and red 10 inch deco mesh. I'm linking for you down below where I purchased all my supplies. And uh, so the first thing that we have here is a 24 inch wreath form. It's a pencil work wreath form and it's got the glittery um, twist ties. So it adds just a fun little element to this 4th of July wreath. So what I'm starting off with is a 10 inch red deco mesh and uh, meaning 10 inches in width. And so as you can see, I'm just starting by uh, with one of the inner twist ties and putting it into place and then I'm just giving it a little bit of a poof and then moving on to the next twist tie. And I'm gonna keep going all the way around. Now moving on to the bottom row of twist ties, I'm not going to cut it, I'm just going to move right down to the next twist tie on the bottom and go around the entire bottom ring. I've gone all the way around the wreath on the top ring and the bottom ring. Now I'm just going to cut off the deco mesh, give it a little bit of a tail, and then I'm just going to tuck that tail right into um, and under one of the poofs to kind of hide that little uh, edge there. The next thing we're going to do to add to this wreath is uh, go ahead and cut out strips of this other foil and uh, or sorry deco mesh and I bought this deco mesh I loved the color of it it's kind of a navy and denim blue with a little bit of a plaid foil running through it so it's a 10 inch width and we're cutting it into 20 inch strips I have 18 twist ties on my wreath form so I'm going to cut out 18 of these 20 inch strips of this of this deco mesh and I actually ended up using this entire roll so whatever the math is on that it works out to be perfect for uh, for what we needed. I'm taking these strips of the blue mesh and I'm just pinching it in the middle and then tying it into the twist ties. And this is what gives it a really fun dimension and adds a lot of volume to this wreath. And you can see how it kind of curls on the ends and, um, and I really like that look. I think it's kind of fun and whimsical. So we're going all the way around with each of the twist ties. Again, there's 18, so I'm gonna do that on the top and the bottom. I've got all the blue into the twist ties, so now we're gonna measure our ribbon. And I have four different types of ribbon. I usually like to do two two and a half inch width ribbon and two one and a half inch 
width ribbon. So what I'm doing here is measuring out to figure out how big I want my ribbon tails to be. And in order to stick out just enough, I've decided I want them 20 inches, which is a little bit longer than I usually do. I usually do my ribbon tails about 15 inches, but because this wreath is so full, I really wanted the ribbon tails to still show. So I am going to cut nine of each ribbon and I'm starting with this really cute one. I love this with the cute little camper trailer on it um, in the 4th of July colors. So going ahead and cutting nine strips of this. Next I have a one and a half inch width red and white stripe. So I'm going to also cut nine of those. I've cut half of the ribbon that I need and I'm just going to take a minute and sharpen my scissors with my scissor sharpener because this wired ribbon is sometimes pretty harsh on the scissors. To finish off all of my ribbon, I dovetail the ends, and how I do that is I take the ribbon, fold it in half lengthwise, and here I have two together just to save time, and you want to cut it from the fold to the outside corner, and then you have a nice little dovetail. Do that on both ends of the ribbon before you put it into the wreath. Okay, now we're gonna put the ribbon into the wreath and I'm gonna put a two and a half inch with a one and a half inch. I like the plaid with a polka dot here. So I'm going to take them both together, pitch, pinch them in the middle and then open up a twist tie, put it into the twist tie and then twist it back up again. And then I'm going to take the ribbon and just form an X shape with the ribbon. And then I'm gonna alternate. Every other twist tie is going to get um, is gonna get different ribbons. So the next one over is getting the cute little campers with the red and white stripe, and those are going into the next twist tie over. And you're just gonna repeat this pattern going all the way around the upper level and then all the way around the bottom level until you're all finished and you've used up all the ribbon. After the ribbon has all been assembled, I'm going to put the sign onto the wreath. And how I do this is I like to form my own attachments so that it's nice and secure onto the wreath. So it came with this little jute wire attached to the top, but that's not really going to help me in how I want to attach it. So making my own attachments and I'm just taking this chenille stem, giving it a couple of staples with my staple gun on both sides of where I'm going to attach it. And uh, I've got two staples and then I'm just gonna twist it a couple times. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side and then it will be ready to attach to the wreath. Okay, it's so cute. Uh, all of the red, white, and blue is just so much fun. So I'm going ahead and putting the sign where I want it, right in the middle. And then I decided that I wanted to attach it on both sides of the wreath frame. So I like to attach it directly onto the frame. That way it's really secure in place. So I'm just reaching around through all that deco mesh and ribbon and giving it a couple of twist ties. And once I've done that, then I'm gonna turn the wreath over and make sure it's really secure. Um, here, I'm just giving it a little bit of a trim. Those edges on that blue deco mesh will fray. So you'll, there's no way to uh, prevent that. I've tried, <laughs> it just happens, even with the highest quality deco mesh. And uh, okay, and then on this other side, I'm going ahead and attaching it in the same way um, with the chenille stem, just going right around to the, to the wire frame. Flip it around and uh, just take a glance at where your chenille stems are 
and then make sure that they are secure and give them a few more twist ties just to, um, just to make sure they're nice and secure.